Honestly, this deck is now one of my top favorite decks of cards. Today, we are looking at a deck of cards just released by Theory 11 about a week ago, I'd say. Not exactly sure on dates, but all I know is it's the new year. So happy new year to you guys. But yes, today we are looking at the new Spider-Man playing cards by Theory 11. I do have a couple things that I do want to let you guys know about, but we're going to leave the chit chat to the end and just get right into the deck review. So let's look at the box and here they are. These are the Spider-Man playing cards. And oh my goodness, do you see that? Do you see what I'm seeing? You see how beautiful that is? By the way, this is not sponsored. I wish 311 sponsored me. This ain't sponsored. I bought these. So this is not like I have to be saying whatever I'm going to say. I'm just a very big Marvel nerd and Spider-Man fan. So when you put two of two what I love together, you know, this is the back of it, which shows the back design. And of course they had to add a Spider-Man face seal. Look at that. That's beautiful. On the bottom, you got the Theory 11 info. On the side, we of course have great power comes great responsibility. And then on the other side, the same thing. I just cannot get enough of this front. I mean, I don't think I've ever loved the front of a deck of cards box before so much. It is embossed, so you do feel that on the front and back. And then just look at all the foil. So much gold, blue, and red on there. It looks great. So that is the box. I'm going to stop obsessing over that. But as we get into it, look at this. Look at that. They even put stuff right there. That's great. And as you can see, that's actually three different Spider-Men. Okay, if you can guess them all right, then good job to you, because you're a nerd like I am. All right, so we're going to move the camera down a bit and look at the cards. All right, getting to the cards themselves. Are you ready for this? I mean, yeah, I already saw it on the back of the deck, but look at that back design. I love the colors on this, how it looks, how it feels. It also feels a little bit thinner than um, usual, so it might be crushed stock, but it is United States Playing Card Company, which uh, I can't get enough of, as always. So getting into the face card, which is like a huge reason I love this deck, we have the hearts, clubs, spades, and diamonds, obviously, but they're all custom on each individual little heart, club, spades, and diamonds. You know what I'm saying? So it has spider webs in the hearts. Same with the diamonds, right? And then we get into the face cards and we have Mysterio, then we have the Vulture. I love that they did both of them there. Obviously there's a lot of characters in the Spider-Man movies. So to include them like that was a genius idea, I think. I've not seen Theory 11 do that with characters before. Then for the aces, they look a little extra sick. And then the Ace of Spades is probably my favorite card, just because it has all three Spider-Man right there, and then it says, trust your tingle. I think that's really funny. Then we got Spider-Man, and look, a different version of Spider-Man. See, I love that back and forth. That looks great. The Jokers, we got J.J. Jameson. Who is Spider-Man? He's a criminal, that's who he is. A vigilante, a public menace. We got some other characters from Spider-Man here. We got Iron Man on the Ace of Diamonds, which I think is really cool. Happy, can't forget about Happy. I got him! Aunt May. I think there's two versions of Aunt May in this, which is quite odd, but I also, I'm not exactly sure what that is. It was that MJ. Is that MJ? Wow, I thought that was Aunt May. Which one's Aunt May? Looks old for MJ. Then we got the Iron Spider, Spider-Man again. Again, I love that. And then for the other Joker, we got Flash Thompson, which I find really funny as well. Dope glasses, Parker. How'd you pay for these? No, no, no. no. Flash, really pay we got the villain thing going on with Green Goblin and Dr. Octavius again. I love that. And then the two Spider-Mans right here. And then more Spider-Man here. And then we got there. See, there's MJ. So is the other one two MAs? I think there's two MAs in here. But this is the deck. I am obsessed with it. I love it so much. Again, they feel great as Theory 11 decks do just because they usually print with the United States Playing Card Company, so you can't go wrong with that. And yeah, I didn't want to make this a terribly long video. Just really wanted to show this deck off. I'm very happy with it. Very glad that I got it. So yeah, that's just a little quick overview of what it looks like. It's really not a review because I'm just... I'm just in love with it, so maybe you won't be, but that's okay. Those are my thoughts on the Spider-Man deck, and uh, yeah. All right, guys, so that is the Spider-Man deck. I hope you enjoyed looking at that real quick with me. As you can probably tell, it's not Friday. Um, I am uploading this one early because I do have a video coming Friday, but wanted to make this one as well. So, of course, got to put two videos out there. And just so you know, in this new year, just like I have been for the past month, I will be uploading a long format YouTube video like this every single Friday. And then maybe throw in an extra one like this every now and then. 
YouTube Shorts will be coming at you at least every other day. If I miss it, I'm not trying to be terribly consistent with that. I'm trying to make sure I upload YouTube Shorts just because they're fun and they grow my audience a bit more, but I'm mostly focused on long format YouTube videos. So I got a lot planned, a lot of fun stuff coming your way. I am also going to be posting every single day a picture of a deck of cards all year long on Vero. Vero, Vero, I don't know how to say it, but here it is, a link down below where you guys can follow me. And then you can see every time that I post on there. I will be sharing it here and there on my Instagram, but just mostly focusing on Vero and posting once a day there. I have a lot of other fun plans coming in for 2023. Happy New Year to everybody again. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one. See ya.